Hi, I'm Susie Dingle, writer, garden coach, and landscape designer, bringing you inspiration and information to help you better utilize, enjoy, and improve your outdoor space. Once upon a time, I taught landscape design in a college, and now I have this channel. You can expect to see me bringing you designer tips and tricks, and we'll be doing book reviews, or I'll be sharing my favorite books with you, and we'll be doing some how-tos, propagate or starting seeds, that sort of thing. Expect some wonderful adventures beyond my garden. and also some gorgeous garden centers. We'll be doing tours of those and I'll be looking for certain types of plants. Speaking of plants, it's all about plants. Right? So we'll be looking at plants at particular times of the year and looking at the, the attributes of them, the pros and maybe not cons, but the things that maybe wouldn't work in your garden, whereas it would in someone else's. Now, about landscape design, I live in the Pacific Northwest, but the principles of landscape design are translatable to no matter where you live. I'll also be rolling up my sleeves, putting on my boots, and doing the dirty work. We just have been doing some maintenance on our natural pond and stream, so look for that video coming to you really soon. Before and after transformations are definitely in the future on this channel because my garden needs it. That is definite. This is a 12 year old garden and it is in desperate need of some rejuvenation. That's a fun thing to do when things have grown up, it's mature and you can start shaping it. I have a background in eco-friendly uh, landscape design, sustainable landscape design. So that will be woven into everything. Just that will come popping out here and there, just probably on just about every single video. We'll be addressing all those major questions that people have, my clients at some point or another have always asked, can they have something that's low maintenance or uh, would work in the sun or the shade or in dry soil or wet soil on, on a slope or that's good for animals? And my favorite of all, a child's garden. We will be visiting children's gardens, that's for sure. One of my favorite is the Red Butte Garden in Utah. You can look forward to more traveling and exploring or wherever there might be a garden, large or small, you know, sometimes it's just a tiny little slice that captures my imagination and I will just have to bring that to you. Using the things that we grow in the garden is a high priority for me. Making bouquets is kind of the first thing that comes to mind. It's amazing what you can create with, with basically weeds even. We'll also be using the produce from the garden, making some meals. In my neighborhood, we are blessed with a lot of fine, fine gardeners, master gardeners, people who have oh, just done beautiful, beautiful things. And I'm sure that we will be going into some of these gardens. Several people have already offered their garden so that we can tour it on this channel. 
Isn't that fun to peek over the garden fence and see what someone else is doing? Well, I think you get the idea what I'm aiming for here. Certainly, if there is anything that you would like to see specifically, please do let me know in the comments. I'm very interested in that. I love what a natural environment can do for us. It feeds our soul, it feeds our body. And what better way to make friends and to lift up the joy in the world than to create an outdoor space. Your own garden that speaks to you, no matter what size it is. Thank you so much for tuning in to this introduction to Susie Dingle's garden. Please consider uh, doing the click, click, click thing, the subscribe, the ring the bell, the like. Until next time, I'll be dreaming of you in the garden. Bye.